This started about 15 years ago when, uh, when we got in trouble with the uh, European Union and we realized that we had no idea about this world of international organizations and NGOs. So we got involved. And at the same time, we got involved with the Kosovo crisis for the first time, where the employees of Microsoft said, what do we do to help? And so we went to UNHCR and we asked, what can we do to help? And they said, we'd like you to build a refugee registration system. So we built that. Um, and to us, that became a model of how we interact and engage with UN organizations and other uh, large NGOs and uh, uh, small NGOs as well. The concept is that we don't assume any knowledge of the situation. So this is my fourth time in Kenya. I've never been in a disaster. I've never been, when I come to Kenya, it is the Fairmont Hotel, it's safaris and it's um, a taxi basically. So I cannot, and I tell my people, the people that work in my team, don't assume any knowledge of the situation where you go in. Um, but we do know technology, and when we got engaged with UNHCR, they said, it's so helpful that you guys just build the system, have the people can do the training, contact your partners that do hardware, and do all the other things to integrate, and uh, leave us with a system that we can really use. This is how I got involved with the World Food Program. It's a bit of a sad picture if you look at it. Um, I think it believe it's from Haiti where basically all communication infrastructure was gone. So now you see all these aid workers and they're basically doing nothing. They can't do nothing. You see them basically bored looking at their phone, at their mobile phone, waiting for a signal. And this is a sad photo, but the, the stories from Haiti are much sadder. Um, and especially if you look at what we did to help. So the story that World Food Program told me is they were witnessing an amputation of a little boy, a uh, leg amputation, while there was a hospital fully equipped within a mile. And so the CTO or the CIO told me, he said, there was a collective failing of the IT industry. We should really take this to heart. We really had no idea that this was there, and we should have known as an IT person. Um, so the first, there's a few things we did. The first thing is, we said we need, an I, we need an IT infrastructure, communication infrastructure, within hours. Not within a few days, but within hours. So this is something that the um, government of Luxembourg has set up. And if you look at it, so they have an ambulance service, which they use in Luxembourg, which is planes. They can have a fully equipped, basically, internet cafe um, that come in these boxes. It's pre-configured, come in these boxes. These boxes are the sizes that they fit in over these four planes that was necessary. There's also this big balloon, comes in one of these boxes, and they can fly this plane within, um, within two hours to any location in the world. And in addition, you don't see it on this um, slide, in addition, they pre-bought uh, satellite communication space to reach basically the whole world. So the good thing is you can now have within 24 hours a full functioning internet cafe anywhere in the world uh, based on satellite technology. The other good thing is that Luxembourg realized that they bought a lot of satellite space they're not using at all. So they said we can actually start using it for other projects where we need a temporary infrastructure that we can fly in to anywhere in the world where there is no infrastructure, and all of a sudden we can help schools, hospitals, in a situation where there is no infrastructure, it makes no sense to build it. But that's the first, but then you see the coverage. On top of that, we built with World Food Program something called EPIC, Emergency Preparedness Information Center. And so it's one thing to make information visible, and I've seen many, many good examples, what we said, it's not enough. So for World Food Program, they say, we need to know where our people are and how we can communicate them. Otherwise, we don't even deploy them. So what we said from a central location, we need to be able to connect, collaborate, and communicate with every field worker. So that is the system that we're building, and that is called EPIC. So this is what it looks like. Um, Basically, the same thing as you see, it's maps. But let me... Let 
to go to the application itself. This is what it looks like. Same thing, it's a map. Uh, first thing, first customer for them was Pakistan. So you always go to the country you want to be. And then you say, we want a visualization of all our warehouses. So that it becomes available on your map. So then you have all your warehouses, and then you can click on that, and then you have your contact details of this specific warehouse, who is their address and so on. And then what the other thing you want to have is a way to communicate. So here you click on this link, or you click on the Skype button, and it creates an automatic Skype connection with this warehouse, or with a person you like to reach. The other thing in emergencies, what they want to do is they say, if one of our house has food and the other one needs it, we want to have a detailed look about what is in this warehouse. So you get a detailed look, an Excel sheet um, about what is in, in, the, in this warehouse. Um, so that's what the, the picture you can see. The other one you can see um, is an example of media. So they said basically what you just saw, people taking pictures with their phones, people taking videos. What you like to do is have a, a view of what's happening in terms of photos in that location or in terms of videos. And finally here above you see um, any type of resources you can bring in there. So you give this, this view on a tablet to someone and uh, if you like, you have videos embedded as well. So you have all types of information that you want, which is location specific. That is epic. Um, so yeah, that was a, a, a very short example of what we do for World Food Program. Um, if you look at Epic, the platform, um, available to anybody, um, to anyone. Um, if you look at what the Luxembourg government is doing, available to everybody. Um, and the thing I want to leave you after, uh, or today, after I've seen the presentations, um, yeah, it is imp important to collect information but it's also important to be able to connect and to act on the information. So to connect, collaborate, and to communicate to the people that work in the field.